Well, hello everybody, and Jeff here, and I wanted to show you something kind of quirky and fun that I found that I can do with some YouTube videos. Um, notice we have a video of mine that I made for this test, and if I play it right now, it's just me playing a Mario Maker level. Uh, this is one of Sean Hip 2's one-screen puzzles. If you look at my settings, this is just a standard all running at 480p uh, quality. I'm running at two speed right now. If I go back to normal, everything's still fine. This is just you know the, the video as it is. But watch what happens if I switch this video to a 720p 60 hertz quality. And check it out. It's kind of like a flickering motion. And as you can see, there's some Minecraft playing in the background. Now, why is that? Check this out. If I change the speed to two speed, all of a sudden, I am sitting back here just looking at my Mario Maker one screen puzzle. But watch as I move the slider. I have a second video embedded within the first video that, granted, the quality is not perfect. This is more just a proof of concept to see if it could be done. But check this out. We are running at minute 25, minute 26, 27, 28. If I drop back to that area, depending on when you select in the timeline and when YouTube decides to actually start rendering this two speed on which frame that it actually picks up, you can watch two different videos within one actual video. Uh, I can make this thing bigger. Like I said, the quality is not perfect in this by any stretch of the imagination. It's uh, obviously a manipulation of the system, but you can really embed a video within another video and watch two different videos kind of at one time. It's weird. It doesn't work if you go to 1080p, which is how the video was rendered. But if I switch it to 1080p, oh, it actually... Maybe we'll be working out. Or I might just show the, the one video track if I'm on 1080p at two speed. Um, and you can never actually switch back to the other one. Oh, I was wrong. I stand corrected. I guess it does work on 1080p as well. Maybe it just takes the time for it to render all the way through uh, for this to happen. But I thought it was kind of a cool and interesting quirk and way that you can do things. You can watch just two different videos all at the same timeline. This is the... From a minute to a minute 10, you'll be able to see, like, this is all the Mario video. And if I... Catch it at just the right frame, I can watch a minute to a minute 10 of my Minecraft video embedded right in there. Now, if you noticed, it was running at two speed up here. The way I have this rendered, this is a two speed render. This is just if you put the video in your video editor and run it as normal, this is what you'll get when you put it in two speed. Obviously, it's in two speed. After the minute mark, as you can see, he has just slowed down. This is a timeline I have actually doubled the length of the video so one minute I slowed it down so that one minute equals two minutes and when you run it at two speed there you go you have now a normal speed video when you're running this in the background and as you can see if I can get it to switch back over to the Minecraft he's sitting there running at just one speed right here this is just like I'm watching a normal Minecraft video whereas if I go back here as you can see he's going super fast and he's actually just switched over at that particular moment um let's see if we can get it to catch back to the, to the Minecraft Real quick, there we go. Now he's running it at two-speed Minecraft because this was a normal video render. Now, I'll be honest, it's not 100% perfect. Sometimes you load up the video and it just flickers. I don't know if it's because it's catching it in like half frames, so it's kind of showing them both at once or what the deal is. And occasionally, if you watch it for long enough, it will flip over to the other video randomly, probably as it renders and pulls different... Uh, different frames for the YouTube two-speed conversion, but I thought it was kind of a cool concept to do. Now, real quick, I'll show you guys how it was done. I'm gonna go over here into my Sony Vegas window instead. So now we're over in Sony Vegas, and one thing to note is that this does not work with sound tracks. Uh, no, I can't say it doesn't work with soundtracks. I haven't tested it with soundtracks yet because I don't know how I would just individually get the soundtracks on each opposite frame in an easy way, uh, because what you could do in theory, the, the whole point of this video is like, this is the video that we just watched online together. And if you'll notice, if I zoom in really far on this video and then use left and right in order to go frame by frame when you're zoomed in far enough, you'll notice that it's just every other, every other frame is the opposite video. So it's basically, here's a Mario frame, here's a Minecraft frame, here's a Mario frame, here's a Minecraft frame, etc. You have to end up rendering your video so every other frame is the opposite video. Now you can do that manually by cutting out each individual frame and putting them next to each other. That would take you a long time. What I did was I set up a filter layer, and this is my filter layer, and I'm just showing you down here on this track right now. All this filter layer is, is every other frame 
frame on this filter layer is a white screen or a black screen or a white screen or a black screen. And what you do with this is I made a long one minute every other frame was a white screen or a black screen rendered it into a one minute clip and that's what i have up here is i have multiple one minute clips that i can keep copying and pasting in this is my mask layer you put those above your two different video tracks you then make the next track you hit this button right here that you can see it's to make it a child track so it makes it a child track of this layer so what you do then is when it, once it becomes a child track and one of the frames whether it's black or white it will show through onto this track in the one of those two frames to make the other layer show up using the other frame what you do is you apply a mask generator of a luminance mask to that and it will make it so it will show through the other frame so as you can see i got my two videos set up here with my mask layer and if i zoom in far enough and go left and right it's just like that finalized product is every other layer but what this time is it's doing is it's actually showing me the different tracks so this is one way that i made it so i could easily render these videos out without having to individually like copy frame by frame because that would take a long time to do um so pretty much that's the way that you can accomplish this now it's important to know your render settings have to be just right i was having problems when i was originally experimenting with this and what i found out seemed to make it work for me is if i went to render this video and i will show you uh in for this one what i use is i, I called it something strange my test 60 fps true and nope I didn't want to render that. I go down to my customized template, and this is the template that I use. It's a 1080p track at 60 frames a second, and that's the important part is the frame rate has to be 60 on the nose, not that 59.94 stuff. When I rendered in 59.94, it didn't seem to work right, and I just got it flickering when it was on YouTube. But when I changed it to 60, that actually seems to have made it work exactly how i want it to work so that is something to keep in mind so that is one way that you can accomplish this i think it's a pretty cool little trick with youtube um it'd be cool to figure out how to get the audio tracks layered properly and see if you could actually run two different full videos in one now practical real world application for this probably minimal you can hide a video within a video Granted, if you watch it at normal speed, all you're going to see is flickering. You're going to know there's a hidden video there, but just kind of a cool concept. So you guys can probably come up with some cool things to do with this. I'm not 100% sure what, but hey, check it, check it out. I think it's pretty cool, kind of hiding a video within a video. And if you guys like it, if you use it for something, give me a thumbs up. I would like that. I would appreciate the like on this video. And if you make something cool, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys come up with for this. But anyways, at the end of this video track, what I'm going to do is the last four minutes of this track are going to be the actual clips. So you can take this video right here that you're watching right now and the last four minutes of it, and you can actually play with it and see it work. So you know that I'm not doing any like gimmicks or any tricks or anything like that. It's reality. It actually works. So check it out. The first two minutes, uh, video footage is going to be if it's you're looking at it at normal speed so it'll be actually in two speed when you do two speed playback the last two minutes are going to be i put it at half speed in the video track so when you actually play it at two speed it looks like it's normal speed so play with it have fun tell me what you think hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching keep on gaming